In our next problem, we're going to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. Solve by factoring x squared plus 5x equals 36. To use factoring, we need to have the equation set equal to 0. So in our first step, we're going to subtract 36 from both sides of the equation. That will give us x squared plus 5x minus 36 equals 0. Now in this problem, we note that as we start to factor, our leading coefficient is 1. That allows us to factor x squared into x times x. Next, we're going to be looking at the factors that would multiply together to give us negative 36. We could have negative 36 times positive 1. We could have positive 36 times negative 1. We could have 2 times negative 18. We could have negative 2 times positive 18. We could have 3 times negative 12. We could have negative 3 times positive 12. We could have 4 times negative 9, negative 4 times positive 9. We could have 6 times negative 6. And we could rearrange it if we wanted to, but we don't need to. It's the same thing. Now, that's an awful lot to try. Instead, let's just try to think about it mentally. We're going to have to have factors of 36. They're going to have to be opposite signs, which means that when we look at the outer and the inner, we're going to have to be subtracting. And we want factors of 36 that, when subtracted, will give us 5. So if we look down our list, which pair will actually fit that bill? Well, it's going to be this one. When we subtract these, we're going to end up having to have, or when we put these together, we have to have 5 as our result. And of course, they're being subtracted because one's a negative sign, one's positive. So let's put those numbers into our problem, negative 4 and positive 9. Let's double check ourselves. We have our x squared. Our outer term would be positive 9x. Our inner term would be negative 4x. So notice that we are taking the outer term and the inner term and subtracting them to give us our 5x. And then our last term is our negative 36. Now that we have our factorization, we note that if we have two numbers multiplied together equal to 0, one of them must be 0. That translates here to tell us that either the first factor equals 0 or the second factor equals 0. Let's solve each equation. Add 4 to both sides of the equation. x equals 4. Subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. And x equals negative 9. That gives us two solutions to this equation.